Hey folks, so let's start our learning journey in this AWS Certified AI Practitioner Examination Preparation with the understanding of basic terminologies. So I'll call this section as fundamental concepts related to machine learning. But in this video, I'll take you through the important definitions that you need to understand so that you get a clear picture about the machine learning. So let's get started, guys. So the first thing that we are going to learn is artificial intelligence. What exactly is this artificial intelligence? Well, the artificial intelligence is the ability of the machines to mimic human cognitive functions like learning, problem solving, and decision making. To give you an example, a chess playing computer that can strategize and even outplay the human grandmasters. I know this sounds pure technical, but let me do one thing. Let me just give you an everyday example for AI that is an artificial intelligence so that you can relate to it and understand more. See, I'm sure everyone have got the smartphone. Now your smartphone's assistant, it can be Siri or Google Assistant, or even if you have got the devices like Alexa, that can be an example of artificial intelligence. The reason that we call it as an artificial intelligence for these virtual assistants, because here it can understand your voice command. Once it understands the voice command, it can search the internet for us. It can set the reminder and even tell us the joke. In some scenarios, it will also help us in managing the smart devices. Like for example, I can ask my Alexa to switch on the TV or to switch on the light. I can control the smart devices. So it's like having a little helper in our pocket. The key things that you have to focus on when we talk about AI is here, this is a system which can understand our query, which means like it can understand our input. I'm going to say understanding the input. Now, along with understanding the input, it also has the capability to take a certain action. Now, this action can be based on programming manner or this action can be based on the text manner. Like, for example, if I ask my Alexa to tell me a joke, it will respond to me in the text manner. If I ask my Alexa to switch on the TV, then it will call some kind of an API function which is related to my smart TV and then it will switch on that TV. So overall, it is able to understand my input and it is able to take an action. And AI is a system which can understand the input and get the action. That's the basic idea about this artificial intelligence. Now, let's take a look into the next term that we have got that is machine learning. Now, when we talk about machine learning, machine learning is a subset of AI. So here, this is going to learn the pattern and improve its performance from the data without explicit programming. To give you an example, the machine learning system can be in related to a spam filter that you have in your inbox. So we have a sp spam filter that is provided by most of the email providers. And what it actually does is it will adapt to the new types of junk mail by analyzing our inbox. So the key thing that you have to remember is this machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. Now, if my artificial intelligence is a big circle, I can say machine learning is a circle inside it, which represents the subset of artificial intelligence. Here, as it clearly says, it is capable of understanding the pattern without explicit programming. That means we don't have to necessarily tell the rules. We'll just provide the data. The rules will be understood automatically. Just like in this example, the spam filter, it will look into our inbox emails and it will generate the responses. To give you one more real-time example that we would use it in our day-to-day -day life is the Netflix. So the movie recommendations that we see on Netflix, or it can be the Amazon Prime, have you ever noticed that they seem to know your taste? And based on your taste, you're going to get the recommendation about the movies that you might like. Now that's the machine learning at work. Why we call it as machine learning? See here in this example, you can clearly observe that it has understood your viewing pattern. It has understood your preference. Now, based on your viewing history, the ratings that you have provided for each movie and what about and it will also consider the other users who are having the similar taste based on all these information, it has built the model 
and based on that it is generating the recommendations automatically here this building of the model from your taste would happen from the data itself and there's no person in amazon or netflix who is coding that okay this is what the recommendation should be so this is an example of machine learning so the key thing that you have to remember is when we talk about machine learning it is about analysis there is no action that is involved it will just provide the analysis if you add an action to an analysis that's what the ai system is okay so now that you are clear with this let's take a look into this deep learning so what is deep learning well deep learning is a specialized type of machine learning so we call it as a subset of machine learning so if this is my machine learning i'll call this as a deep learning so all on all in all everything comes under ai so ai is a superset so ml is a subset of ai and deep learning is a subset of machine learning here in order to find the pattern it will make use of a special structure that's called as artificial neural network and this artificial neural network has got multiple layers and the way these neurons are structured and the way the analysis would happen it is actually inspired by our human brain so if you remember in your biology in your high school you might have learned that our human brain is made up of billions of cell right so inspired by the way our human brains process information that's how the neural networks have been designed and that's how the deep learning is going to learn the pattern in the data set and we are able to learn the complex pattern to give you some of the examples for deep learning the image recognition software which can identify the objects and the people in the photos with high accuracy that's an example of deep learning now to give you an everyday example so one of the everyday example that you would see is the facial recognition that you have on your phone so if you are using the android or ios so you might have a facial recognition software on your phone which is able to detect your face and based on that it is able to unlock your phone or the facial recognition that you would observe in the social media website so that's all powered by deep learning so when you tag your friends in photos the app often suggests who is who based on their faces now that's the power of deep learning now the way this has worked is the deep learning algorithm are trained on massive data set of faces and they learn to recognize the pattern in facial features it's like the distance between the eyes the shape of nose so all these things are used to identify the people with incredible accuracy okay so what you have learned so far is you have learned about three important definition ai machine learning and deep learning so to have a quick recap AI is a big picture. It's like any technology that enables the machine to mimic the human intelligence. And machine learning is a subset of AI. It's a specific way of achieving the AI by giving the machine the ability to learn from the data. And deep learning is a subset of machine learning. We can also say it as an advanced type of machine learning which uses the human brain inspired networks which we call it as neural network. to learn the complex patterns like recognizing faces or understanding the language all right so with this we come to the end of this video and i'll see you next time so folks if you are watching on youtube so i hope you have enjoyed this video so if you want the full course so do check out the manifold ai learning page i look forward to seeing you on the class 1 i'll see you next time guys